Hey guys, Middle Jesus here, and I am back again with Radical Reggie. How's it going, guys? And today we are going to do a PS4 buyer's guide. I can't believe we're here already. I know. This is the thing. We're going to break down the systems, we're going to talk about the accessories and the games. All right, let's take a look. All right, so there are three models of mm -hmm. PlayStation 4, and you have the original here. I have the original model here, and uh, this thing, it, it's, it's a little beat up, but it gets a lot of play, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but this system's been great, and um, one thing I want to let you guys know is that uh, these systems come with around 500 gigs of uh, space on it. Which sounds like it'd be a lot, but it's not. It's not. Uh, a lot of the PS4 games, I mean, I would say install the full game or 90% of the game onto yes. the hard drive. Yeah. and. Uh, because of the PS4, I believe, has a two-speed uh, Blu-ray player, which is really slow if you load games off of there. So, right. uh, if you want to be like like me, and you have like you probably have like more than a hundred games, you're definitely going to want to at least have two terabytes for this system. Yeah, and which is really nice about this though is that you can upgrade it. So you can either have an external one, yep. or I think you can replace the internal one as well, right? You can exactly. Yeah, so that's pretty awesome. Very convenient, and the controllers here. So the controller has a share button on there, which is really cool. So you actually capture yeah. footage, uh, gameplay, or take snapshots and send them to Facebook yeah. or YouTube or any other like yeah. social media site, which is really nice to have. It captures up to, I would say, 15 minutes by default, but you can make it longer hmm. as well. So that's really nice to have. And it, also the touch on here, the touch, uh, pad on here is really nice. Uh, yeah, it is. So, so that's one of the, the, the changes that they made from the DualShock 3 to the DualShock 4 is that there is this button right here, mm -hmm. uh, but it's also a touchpad. And some games do use that. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's something to get used to. Uh, you know, it, this might bring up the inventory or something like yeah. that. Um, the other thing I want to mention too, which uh, surprised me, mm -hmm. was it has a little speaker. Yes. And there are some <laughs> games that take advantage of it, and I love it because mm -hmm. like uh, the, you'll, you'll be playing a game and Maybe you'll get a cell phone call in the mm -hmm, game yep. and, and you'll hear it here, which <laughs> yes. is pretty cool. So overall, I really love this controller. Mm -hmm. uh, I love how what they did with the with, with the triggers. They that feel better for do. racing yep. games. Uh, it's just overall, I think it's a fantastic controller. Just be aware that these controllers uh, take up a lot of energy. So uh, you might want to change the settings for them, like to uh, like the dim the, the blue light that comes out. I did that as well. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, because, um, that, that's right. So there's this little light here, mm -hmm. uh, which we'll get into the VR and all that sort of stuff. But um, initially, it's kind of bright, especially if you're playing in a darkened room. And uh, it changes color, too, depending on the game yep. and what's going on. But you're right. You can dim You just that. might want to dim it just to save battery life, depending on how often you play the system. Yeah, so just be aware true. of that. All right, so for those of you who might want a slimmer system, uh, the, the PS4 does have a slim model that's yep. out there. It's yep. basically the same thing as the, the original model, just a little bit smaller, which is really nice. It looks cool. Yeah, it's about, like, I think I read it's like 40% smaller. Mm -hmm. Sony does this with almost every one of their systems where... Which they, is good. You know. Yeah, which is really good. They revise them as they go along. Mm -hmm. The the only thing to keep in mind is that the slim doesn't have the audio out, right? the digital audio out, which some people do care about that, um, you know, Although most people get their audio from their HDMI cable, but just something to be aware of. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but if you go to like you know a retail store, you're probably going to find the slim. That's the version that you would find, and it works fine. Cool. Uh, and then next up for me, I upgraded to the Pro. <laughs> you did, man. Because I'm a professional. <laughs> <laughs> nice, man. So this is really interesting. This is the first generation that I'm aware of that a game console has uh, two uh, versions. Exactly. That's, yeah. That's yeah, wow. Like. Well, the reason for that is, quite frankly, there's two reasons. Uh, it's because television technology is also changing. Mm -hmm. You have stand, st standard HD, I don't know, that's not really a thing, but you know, 1080p <laughs> televisions, which mm -hmm. is what n most people have. And then, of course, if you go and you buy a new television, you, you probably will get a 4K television. Right. And that's what I have. So what happened was that our old television broke. It was a Christmas sale. Mm -hmm. We bought a 4K, and then I was like, well, I need a new... You PlayStation <laughs> Pro, you know? Um, and so that's primarily what this does. It outputs into 4K. Mm -hmm. Well, some people will argue if it's truly 4K, but you know. And also uh, it has en enhanced features for like a newer games that, or some of the older games too, I think, right? Like, yeah, uh, so I mean, it's definitely a more powerful system. Uh, mm -hmm. 
And and so a lot of games, like for instance, Horizon Zero Dawn, yes, exactly. you buy the standard version of that game and it downloads a 4K mm -hmm. upgrade because essentially it's a bunch of new textures and things like that. And it's definitely noticeable. I mean, it's it's Seriously. beautiful. It's definitely beautiful. Yeah, me and Joe, we play Friday the 13th on the PS4 all the time. And when I play at the beach house, oh, right, it looked I, brought like, it. I was like, whoa, dude, this looks way different. Like it was, it was an awesome experience. So. Yeah, and so that's the thing is that should you buy the original versus the pro that really depends on your television yeah you know and if if you have a n normal hd television right now you probably don't need to spend this. i have a normal hd television so would it is, is there do you think there's enough features maybe to get a pro if i if would i notice a difference maybe like no i don't think so no okay i mean uh, to, although to be fair uh i haven't you know a b'd them i haven't compared them mm -hmm. but you know your output is at the highest is going to be 1080p right now this does have you know much more processing power so mm -hmm. for instance like i immediately noticed that that the playstation uh menu was a little bit smoother a little bit faster okay but it's, it wasn't a problem before anyways so okay. what i would say though is that these really aren't that expensive i think they're a hundred dollars more mm -hmm. or sometimes they're even on sale so they're not that much more if you do think you're going to be upgrading your television anytime soon then you should buy a play uh, the pro i think there's okay. you know all the games work everything's exactly the same it's just more powerful also too it's important to know sony didn't just do this for 4k television oh they did this because of this ah the and vr huh the vr so <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> i guess now is a perfect time to talk about that so vr is it, it really pushes technology because right. essentially it's trying to do 1080p per eye right and okay. So in order to do that and hopefully not make a lot of people sick, you do want a, a, a really powerful system. So for instance, the original PlayStation will, I believe, work with VR. It does, it does, but there was something missing and they corrected that with the Pro and I guess it yes. needed some more processing power or... Yeah, and so so that would be a reason also if you have any interest in the, the, the PlayStation VR, right. you do probably want the Pro for the, the best Pro. experience. Right. Um, although I guess now is a good time to kind of mention this, that uh i still get really sick with this in a lot of games yeah i was i i gave it a go and i was playing uh, until dawn the, the, the yeah. horror game and i got a little i was like whoa like get away from me like it was pretty crazy did, like, did, oh. did, did you get motion sick i did man that's yeah. what i was like yeah oh, like and that's so. the problem with with vr you know vr is pretty cool it's kind of amazing at times um you know it's something that you definitely would want to try but like driving games or any games where there's forward motion or mm -hmm. backwards motion your inner ear isn't matching what your eyes are doing right and it really makes you motion sick for it, a lot of people it's still it's still just a cool gimmick i, I don't know if a lot of people will want vr as as a main system but yeah. it's just cool to know that it's there yeah so I, I enjoyed some games with it but i would have to get into it a little bit more to really see but the thing is that well, that's true, but you can't help getting motion sick, though. And that, yeah. that's the problem, is that mm -hmm. that's the reason why I don't own the VR, because I could only play probably a quarter of the games and not mm -hmm. you know, want to ralph my guts out. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think Sony did a good job with it. It's yeah. something cool. Yeah. Um, definitely better than the, what the Virtual Boy did. <laughs> <laughs> Had but, to bring in the Virtual Boy. I know, right? <laughs> but hey, that's the VR for you guys. That's the VR for you guys. All right, guys, so the next item we want to talk about is the PlayStation 4 camera. Now, I didn't want to buy one at first because I didn't feel it would be useful, but now that I do live streams, uh, I can talk to people online with this thing and they can see me because they like seeing you when you talk yeah, to them. Yeah, yeah. They like seeing you play the game, which is cool. But not only that is it records your voice, so it acts as a mic, too, when you want to play online for hmm. certain games. So, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, really cool item. Just really, it's really cool. And also, uh, for like uh, games where the camera looks at you, you can play like games where you touch the camera. I mean, not, oh, yeah. not like touch the camera, but the camera's filming you and you can like touch Mo Motion style. That's, that's almost exactly. like a connect. Thank you. Yeah. Exactly what it does. So very cool item to have. I would say it's a must have, especially if you want to play like online. Oh yeah, you use it a ton. I do, I do. And yeah. it, it works really well. Uh <laughs> you could change uh some of the graphics with it, I think, like certain angles of the camera, which is cool. It could zoom in on you or just do different angles, <laughs> but really cool device. And uh one of the last items we want to talk about, I, and, and nobody really talks about this much I'm with the So PS4. glad you mentioned this because yes. I forgot. The uh PlayStation Vita. Yes. This acts 
as a remote, it can act as a controller yeah. for the system, yeah. and it acts as a remote play, so you can play games, PS4 games, on your Vita. Yes, and they play great. They I mean, do. It's shockingly yeah. how, how it's shocking how well this thing works. <laughs> yeah, and you know, I, I've used this as a controller too, which is really nice. And not only that, if you say that you you have a PS4 controller, it died, and you want to charge it up or whatever, you want to use this. It maps out the buttons for you, so it changes. You can change the buttons on it. It will tell you what certain buttons will be. So as you can see, the Vita doesn't oh, have the, the right, triggers. The triggers, right? So it'll tell you which where, where the triggers are on the Vita, huh. uh, and it's, it's it's great. I, I know mean, that's that's a feature that again Sony should push more of because mm -hmm. just to be able to like sit in your bedroom in bed playing mm -hmm. your triple A. PlayStation yes. 4 games, you can do that with this. It's yes, kind of, it feels can. like magic. <laughs> it, it does, and they did a great job doing it. I just wish there was there was more advertisement about it because yeah. a lot of people still to this day don't know what remote play is I know. for the system. It's, it's a shame. It is a I total mean. shame. All right, well, that's the hardware and the accessories, but you know what, dude? There are tons of awesome games. Yes. Take a look. All right, dude, so I was doing some research mm -hmm. before this video. There are over 1,600 games you can play already. Play. Already. Is it amazing? It's, it's only been like, what, four years since the system's been I out? I know, but that, I mean, that's the thing, is that there's so many awesome games for this. I mean, I know about my collection. Right. It keeps growing and growing, because every week there are Dude, new games. this is almost like, this reminded me of the PS1 era. It how does. dropping games, like, everywhere. That's I know. That's awesome. So, yeah. for us to try to pick, sort of, you know, the best of games for you guys to pick day one, it's, right. it's so hard to do. It is. So, what we wanted to do, we wanted to go by genre, you yep. know, so you guys can kind of keep up with us. So... What we'll start out with, I'm guessing we'll go with... Uh, should we Should we start with this? Let's start with that stack right I, there. <laughs> what genre is that? Well, I'm calling this first-person shooters, although I think for most people, that's going to be, you know, that would be the Call of Duties, that would be right. the Overwatches. Mm -hmm. For me, although I tended to like the stealthy kind of RPG ones, and so, right. again, we're going to go fairly quick here because we do have so many games. A so, lot. Uh, obviously, the Bioshock collection, these are remastered versions of excellent games right uh also there are a bunch of dishonored games that came out so right. these are stealth first person games but you can shoot in them nice okay. fantastic games i need to look into those yeah and then for more of a like a traditional shooter we have doom mm -hmm. and then titanfall 2. i mentioned this game because it didn't sell very well uh because the original didn't do very well right. however the second one has a fantastic single player campaign fantastic really? one of my favorites okay it's amazing so i always so anytime someone's like, hey, I like first person shooters, which I pick up, Titanfall 2. Okay, I need to look into that one. It's yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. Okay, so the next stack here, we're gonna do RPGs. Uh, so here is an Earthlock uh, Festival of Magic. This is like a, uh, I would say like a, kind of like a retro type R RPG. I hadn't heard uh, of this. Very cool, not not expensive. It goes for around uh, 20 to 30 bucks. Okay. Uh, very cool. Uh, the Witcher 3, which I have not played yet, unfortunately. Oh, it's so epic. Uh, I <laughs> mean, and, and to be honest, actually, I haven't played it because I haven't, I haven't had to because my wife, Rebecca, has put about 300 hours into it and I've watched <laughs> her play it, but it's amazing. Very nice, yeah. man. I need to look into that, man. Yeah. I, I just swamped, but here we go. Oh, yeah. Um, ease, ease 8. Uh, Lacrimosa of Dana. I was uh, wondering so if you're gonna try to say that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, no, I played this game crazy. Like I put so many hours you, into this game. You were messaging about this. Like, yes. Yeah. I love the game, yeah. uh, despite that some people like were upset with the way the translation was done. I didn't really notice it, but hmm. outstanding game. Uh, if you if you haven't played an Ease game, this will be the the perfect one to start yeah. with. It's definitely one of the most memorable games I played of yeah. the series. Uh, Tales of Assyria. You uh, love your Tales games. I love this game. This one was a little bit dark, uh, but it's still an excellent game. Great time with it. Pick this one up, definitely. And another one here, Odin Sphere. I hope I pronounced it right. Oh, yeah, <laughs> okay. But Odin Sphere, is, uh, this is a, a remake of the PS2 That's game. That's right. And what's cool about this is that you can play the PS2 version on here and the newer version, which is more like a hack and slash beat em up. So huh. very fun, excellent game, great. Uh, now, voice acting no tell tell people why we're not showing persona 5. <laughs> well, persona 5 man i just for me i am uh, i messaged him about this we i'm like about this. i'm like dude people are going to expect us to show per persona 5. I, I, I can't i'm not a teenager anymore so i can't I really get with the trend of the, how they the, how they do things and everything like the j-pop music is, is cool but i'm just not if there was more like older adult characters in the yes. game, I could maybe I could get into it. I'm right there with you. So we wanted to mention that Persona 5 is one of the highest rated RPGs on the system. Yes. People love it. I'm with you. Mm -hmm. Is that I actually really like the combat system. I love the graphical style, mm -hmm. but high school uh, yeah. relationships, well, I, I couldn't get into it. So yeah. we, we want to mention it though. Yeah, definitely. We'll and I wanted to tease you about it because yeah. you, you, you were like, what? <laughs> I know, right? 
All right, so next deck, this is a short stack. We wanted to talk about some more games, but here's what we have here, fighting games. Yeah. Uh, and this is a Guilty Gear, um, what, what was this one? The Exerd uh, 2 e Revelator. Uh, they have the craziest names. Yeah, Guilty Gear, Exerd, Revelator 2. Sorry, hopefully I said that right. This is the definitive <laughs> version of the Revelator game. Uh, very cool animation, I mean, good animation. Beautiful and, games. Uh, it's 3D animation as 2D. Yeah. Um, play. It's really cool how they did yeah. this game. Very solid game. Pick this one up if you're interested. And Nitro Plus Blasters, it's another fighting game. Uh, not many know about this game. Yeah. So uh, I picked it up by accident and you were like, ooh, <laughs> good choice. Yeah, yeah. It's a good, this was the game, the fighting game that came out for the system before, like Street Fighter V, it came out. Yeah. So, you know, I picked this one up. So th there's definitely other ones like Mortal Kombat and stuff like that, Injustice too. So check oh, those out right. as well. Yeah, cool. All right, next I want to talk about. Adventure games. Yes. Shout out to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we recommended a, a game in the pickups video, uh, Silence, which is yes. a game that I think a lot of people should play. It, it'll def it might get overlooked, but she saw that I, I mentioned Silence and she played it and she beat the game. And it's so funny too because my mom was coming over to visit and uh, she's like, the one game, that was the one game That's she one game. Game. And it's so funny because I was like, well crap, it's a, it's an import. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like damn you Reggie, but actually you can, you can download that off of the, the PlayStation Network store, you can, so. but like, with the physical. You know. Yes, but my mom loves adventure games, so we had to include a bunch of them in this video. Right. Starting with the King Quest, the complete collection. These are new King's Quest games. Mm -hmm. Fantastic old school adventure games. This is yours. Yeah, Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls in one package together. Very cool. Uh, it's remastered for the PS4 system. If you love the PS3 versions, this is definitely worth getting. Uh, I love Beyond Two Souls, even though people gave it heck with it's I need to go game. back and play it. I know you, you, every once in a while you remind me, you're like, now you could play it in the order you wanted to play it in, like oh, in the story if you want to. Right. Yeah, you're playing in order now. That is so cool. Uh, Until Dawn, I think this is still a PlayStation exclusive. It is, and it was one of the first PS4 games I got for the system. Uh, yeah. Very cool game. Really cool. Like, uh, the, the motion capture and the facial animation mm -hmm. is amazing in this. Like, even now when you launch, you're just like, holy crap, they look so realistic. Just to let people know, if you play the game with common sense, like, what would you do in a horror movie? Like, simple choices, like, to stay alive, it will work in this game. You can save everybody yeah. if you do common sense choices so yeah let everybody know that it's fun to, to to talk to people who have played this and okay who's who lived in your game right yeah, everybody lived in my game i was i was did happy. you yeah everybody Are i said everybody the first time through That's wow common sense i'm i'm, I'm impressed <laughs> <laughs> republic uh republic republic yeah you said it right <laughs> it's a game it's like a, i picked this game up because it was like a it the, the, the developers uh were fans of resident evil and the game seems like it plays like an old school Resident Evil yeah. game with a mix of stealth like a, from Metal Gear Solid. So yeah. very cool game. Uh, definitely uh, on the cheap too. Pick this one up. It's yeah, a, it's, it's a, a, it, very unique because you control the security cameras mm -hmm. to help the person get through the, the, get through the, the different yeah, levels. Get through everything, yep. This is one I have not heard of. Hidden Agenda. I talked about this in a previous video. Uh, this is like uh, from the creators of Until Dawn. Uh, oh, for, and they created this it? game. Yeah, it's a multiplayer uh, like adventure game where you huh. play with friends. It's, so. You, you play with a cell phone, uh, you do choices, you choose who's going to be the best a person to make this choice, really? and you get these critical moments. It's an awesome game, man. Uh, it only goes for like a 15, 20 bucks. So really? Definitely pick that one up. You You'll definitely the, like it. You find the coolest stuff. And then I think you turned me on to Life is Strange. Either me or Kenzie. But oh, yeah. <laughs> but this is a... You know, a, to call it a traditional adventure game, it, it, it's kind of like that, where mm -hmm. you're you're solving puzzles and stuff like that. Right. Um, but it's got a supernatural aspect to it. Yeah, and it's, it's in Seattle. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. Right. So. And and uh, what's cool about this game is that it deals with time travel mm -hmm. and and the repercussions of your actions. Right. Uh, super really fun game, and it has two different endings. It does, and you know, it's uh, yeah, the endings are whoa, yeah, yeah. <laughs> whoa, man. So. I chose the bad one, and I felt pretty good about it, but you know. So did I. Everybody considers that the batting. I, I thought of it as the good ending, so oh, did you? I'm glad you're okay. with me on that one. All right. Cool. All right, so next stack here, uh, we're going to go with the retro type style games. Uh, first one I want to show off is Gianna Sisters Twisted Dreams, yeah. Director's Cut. Excellent game for the system. If you're all into the old school adventure games like Mario Brothers, this is definitely the one you want to pick up for the system. Yeah, I mean, um, to give you how, how an idea how old school that is, it originally came out on the Commodore 64. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, it was a Mario clone. Right. But and now it's so much more than that. It's yeah, it's they, cool. They, this game is awesome. It's yeah. so gimmicky and cool. Uh, definitely a game you'll want to have. Uh, Crash Bandicoot uh, Insane Trilogy. Tell Dude, me about this one. 
so awesome. I mean, this is how you do a reboot or I mean, it's not even a remaster. It's a reboot. They basically recreated the original PlayStation 1 games, mm -hmm. the first trilogy. Uh, they fixed some things. They, they made some things uh, a little bit more difficult, but it's beautiful. I mean, if you're a fan of those PS1 games, you have to own that. I was a fan of the third game, so yeah. uh, I'll, I'll definitely look into this. Yeah, it's, it's very cool. Uh, Wild Guns, an old Super Nintendo classic, was uh, redone for the uh, PS4, right. and it's four players, uh, which is really cool. So uh, they added new characters to it, two new levels. Hmm. Uh, it's a tough game. It's just as tough as the I've original, heard. but uh, it's definitely fun if you get like a good amount of people to play with you on hmm. this one. Very cool game. Okay. Uh, Assault Suit Lanos. Yeah, this is. We know. I hope I said that right, but hey, <laughs> somebody will be in there correcting me. <laughs> now, is that I forget? Is that an old Master System game? Yeah, it actually came out. Uh, that I know of it was called Target Earth on the Genesis. I believe. Oh, okay. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, this is a remaster of that version. Now they made a couple uh, remakes of it that, okay. I, that I know of. There's one on PS2 as well, but this is the one to get right here because, of course, you're on the PS4 and the PS4 is region free. So yeah, very cool to play this game. Cool. Uh, next up. We had to, of course, include a bunch of third-person action-y kind of games. And of course. the one that always stands out to me, this is one of my favorite games on the PS4. Yes. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, you got the complete edition. I got the complete edition of yes. it. Uh, very, and I still love the game. I mean, it's just going back in, into it. You know, I relearned it a little bit, and it's just, it was just amazing. I yeah. felt like w w I needed to be back in here yeah. the whole time. But uh, this is also a game that will show off if you have the, the PlayStation Pro, mm -hmm. uh, because it will download additional assets for 4K. And it, again, it just looks. I mean, this game looks great, anyways. Yeah. But in 4K, it's stunning. So this wow. is a must own for everyone. Definitely. And then, of course, we, we, it, it's a place. <laughs> PlayStation system, we have to talk about Uncharted. Yes. And Sony has been very generous with the Uncharted series on here, so they remastered. Yeah, and they look fantastic. The first three games they remastered for the, the PS4 system, and they look outstanding. Uncharted mm. 3 is my favorite one, so okay. I went right into that one. And man, just it was great, man. Seriously, I look, I compared it to the PS3 really? version. Looks a, really a lot better. So, and I would say uh, I love Uncharted 2 only because of how it starts. Do you remember that? Yeah. You know, like, it's, oh my it's god, it's very terrifying. I know. And then, yeah, it's. I'm not going to spoil anything if you haven't played this, but oh my gosh, it's so good. Uh, and then, of course, they did. Uh, this is Uncharted 4, but that's a. This is a special game. edition that I okay. got for if you got the collector's edition. So this is the the case, the steel case that came in. Very cool. Uh, yeah, I just had to have this because oh, yeah. they said this was going to be Drake's last adventure, so I said, you know what, yeah. we'll spend a little bit more money on Drake, you know. Yeah, that's cool you bought that. And it is a really nice ending to the series. But mm -hmm. that wasn't the ending because about a year later, they did The Lost Legacy. <laughs> <laughs> With a new protagonist. So. Yes, yeah, exactly. So, um, And it fits nicely into it because it also has his brother and some right, other characters right. in it. But um, just, you know, a ton of great third-person action. And mm -hmm. these, all of these games are stunning to look at. They're they so beautiful. Seriously. Yeah. Um, PlayStation is, is really killing it. Yep. So uh, this next stack here, or we're gonna knock out the survival horror, and uh, whoo! There's a, a there's a lot of Resident Evil in here. There's a lot of Resident Evil in here. We'll get to that. Uh, White Day. Uh, this game is a is a is a first person survival horror game. Uh, so it was remade for the PS4. Uh, okay. Very scary. About a, a kid that goes into a school to leave a love letter for his, his uh, a girl he likes, but. There's some crazy stuff going on in the school. Is that the one with the janitor? The crazy janitor. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you get caught by the janitor, you're gonna get yeah, beat yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, of course, we have uh, Resident Evil Seven, which is a great game to play on the system, especially with the VR. Very cool. Uh, actually, I should probably. Oh, let me go through all the Resident Evil. So we have Resident Evil. Umbrella Chronicles. Well, it's funny because because originally Reggie was like, well, should we show oh. all the Resident Evil? Uh, I, I'm and, sorry, I said that wrong. Resident Evil Umbrella Corp. Uh, okay, but I wanted to show this because I mean. Pretty much, isn't there every Resident Evil game? Almost, almost? every Resident Evil game is on the PS4. That yeah, play. which yeah. is impressive. It's very impressive. So uh, we have that one. Okay. Uh, we also have, of course, Resident Evil Six, which I don't know why people complain about. I love it. Really? I, anybody says. I need to play it. Uh, Resident Evil Revelations Two, Resident Evil Revelations One, which are really fun old school style Resident Evil games. Mm -hmm. So if you prefer that, you know the the, the style from you know. Yeah, exactly. You can earlier. change it up. Uh, Resident Evil 5, of course, which right. I think is still the best-selling Resident Evil game ever. Is it? I think so, over People part two. People love doing multiplayer on that. Yeah, it was, it was the first game to do it, and it did it well. Uh, except for AI for oh, right. your partner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Resident Evil 4, of course. Everybody loves this one. Classic. Big, big change in the series. Yep. Uh, Resident Evil Origins, which is, includes Resident Evil Zero and Resident Evil uh, Remake for the first game. Now, so. those used to be GameCube games. Used to be GameCube exclusives. Yeah. Uh, and they remastered them they were, for the PS4. They were beautiful back then, so I, they must be amazing here. 
and uh, of course Outlast, which you, we did a gameplay yep, video yep, on, yep, yep. which was terrifying. <laughs> Which uh, that one is a, a compilation. Yeah, compilation Outlast uh, one and two, and then Outlast the Whistleblower, which is insane. That DLC, like, ugh. oh really? Oh, it's brutal, man. The guy who's chasing you in that one. That's cool. And then, oh, I'm sorry, I almost forgot the Evil Within series, which is funny because I almost gave up on the Evil Within one. Yeah. I got to the end, I was mad. Oh really? Yeah. Then I, I stopped playing it. Then I played part two years later. I love part two. Part two is fantastic. So huh. after beating part two, I went back and played part one and I loved it. So, oh, okay. Uh, very cool series. Uh, part two is very story driven. So a lot of you guys who were missing the story from the first game, this one is very well done. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, shoot em up. We love our shooters. <laughs> <laughs> so shoot em up. So uh, you know more about Shinmora than me. Uh, it, is it Shinmora? How do you pronounce it? Shinmora EX. Okay. I don't know why I said shit. I just... No, no, you could be right because I, I know it's it's a kind of a weird name, but it's a fantastic side hor horizontal shooter. You shoot them up, yes. and also it has like a, it has that, that, that time aspect too, where you can slow down time yeah. and go through certain in like like parts in the game. But it gets it's really cool. And this is one of the most beautiful shooters I think ever made. Yeah, it's, definitely. It, I mean, the backgrounds are just stunning. The the bosses are beautiful. It's mm -hmm. all 3D. It's awesome. Very cool game on the cheap too. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try to pronounce it. Okay. Clauderus Blaze. I hope I said it right, but you know, <laughs> hey, everybody, somebody will correct me. Uh, very good shoot 'em up. This was it released is. from Play Asia. I think they still have copies of it, but also a limited run released it too. Okay. They did their own edition of it. Excellent shoot 'em yep. up. This is from the makers of the Raiden series, and uh, they just did a phenomenal job. The music in this game, the explosions, no slowdown, the co op. Very insane game. Yeah. Uh, definitely one you want to have in your collection. We did a let's play of that. We did, and it was it was, it was fun. fun. We, I think we, did we beat the game? We got we, really we close. Got really far. Yeah, I, I, yeah. And uh, Ghostblade HD. Uh, this is another one uh, from Play Asia Soft. Uh, they uh, this is a this is another outstanding game. It actually came out on Dreamcast first, but they remastered it for the uh, PS4. Really? So yeah. yeah. So this is another good shoot 'em up. Uh, definitely <laughs> pick this one up. And the last one here, which I recently talked about. Riding 5 Director's Cut. Hmm. Man, this is the best riding game I've ever played, man. <laughs> I, I love it, man. Uh, very cool game. And this is the Director's Cut. So it comes with a soundtrack. So, you know, if you pick that up, you get a little soundtrack with it, too. So hmm. very cool shoot 'em ups. All right. Well, that is the games that we recommended. But you know what? There's even more. Let's do some honorable mentions. Yep. Alright dude, that is our PlayStation 4 buying guide. It is, it is. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, uh, we wanted to put everything out there we could. You know, uh, PS4, outstanding system. Yes. If you're thinking about getting one for the holidays or whenever. It, just know, get one. Just get one, yeah. Definitely yeah. the system to go with. Uh, I know. And we'd love to know down in the comments, what games you would recommend to brand new PlayStation 4 owners? Yeah, yeah. Because there are a ton to choose from, and well, as you can see, ours were a little biased, but you know, that's because we're right. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know down in the comments. Dude, where can people find you? Oh, Radical Reg on uh, YouTube, uh, uh, Radical Reg on uh, Twitter and Instagram. Yeah, I'm there. You're out there. Just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and take care. You know, speaking of my mom, the reason why I did this video right now is because my mom was visiting and she was like, I want a PlayStation 4, but you don't have a buying guide on your channel, which I thought was pretty funny because normally I wait until all of the models of the different consoles are out and we know exactly what the buying guide will be. But I was like, you know what? Enough time's gone by. Reggie and I can talk about it and we love it so much. So thanks, mom.